It's been kind of a rough period for Representative Henry Cuellar of Texas, a Democrat. He recently was once again challenged by Jessica Cisneros, very narrowly warded off her challenge last time. So he's gotta be scared about that. He's been brought into this Azerbaijan money FBI investigation with his office and his home being raided. None of that looks good, but he does have some things on his side. A lot of people online seem to really like him and they seem to have begun liking him very, very recently. There's been some great reporting at The Intercept that led us into a rabbit hole looking at the social media supporters for Henry Quayer that seem to have just sprung up and are very excited to talk about the representative. So as an example, there's a young woman named Elia Isabella who opened a Twitter account just this month and began sharing her appreciation for Quayer. She follows 64 people and has six followers and nearly all of them share her breathless enthusiasm. As an example, this Monday, she tweeted, a pride, all my support and I hope he stays in the Congress about Quayer. So eager to post that she didn't have time to consider her unusual grammar. Her dedication to Quayer is so complete that her entire online activity consists of retweeting Quayer and replying positively to his posts. Selena Stefani, who has exclusively posted messages praising Henry Quayer since she also began her account in January. Uh, tweeted, thanks for always caring, hopefully achieve great things for Texas. There's a lot of others, but I wanna jump into some of the actual tweets because uh, there's great reporting here on The Intercept, you should definitely go and read it. I went and started looking at a lot of Henry Quayer's tweets recently and at the replies. And then would go into those accounts and there were some similarities, some patterns that definitely popped up. So. Sasha Hill, massive fan of Quayer, tweeting recently, we can't have a better congressman than Henry Quayer. Henry, you have very good proposals, let's hope much longer. Your proposals are the best, she's really into his proposals. Henry is certainly a man we need in Texas. All of her activity, I mean literally every single tweet that she has sent since she started her account in January has been to and about Henry Cuellar, and there are definitely some patterns here. She is not the only person who's very into his proposals. Danielle Butker tweeted, Henry has the best proposals. She too joined Twitter in January of this year and has seven followers. Johanna Bolton says, thank you, Henry, your proposals are very good. She has five followers and also started her account in January 2022. In fact, if you go as I did, you will notice that there are only two times that the vast majority of his supporters seem to have started on Twitter. This January and last August, most this January, some last August, and they're all very enthusiastic about Henry Cuellar. They don't tweet about anything else. They don't appear to have any other activity. They have two or three followers, that's about it. And they really love the congressman and believe that he should remain in office. All right, I'm gonna read you my favorite quote and then I'm gonna tell you what's actually happening here. Uh, one guy wrote in, the support with Henry is honest. The support with Henry <laughs> is honest. And let's note the word honest, uh, which is wonderfully ironic. Uh, and then they continue, he's a hardworking and prepared man. You know, people on Twitter are always uh, coming out and saying, that guy's prepared, I like him because he is prepared. <laughs> Detail oriented. A lot of lot, lot of talk about details on, on, on Twitter. Uh, anyway, then he, the same guy continues, um, Henry is a great example. My vote is for he. <laughs> <laughs> is your vote for he? Well, that is an interesting uh, observation by a non-bot real human being, I'm sure. Um, so uh, what's going on? So everybody's in the bots and trolls game now. Uh, and before it was seen as conspiratorial to say, oh, there are trolls and bots on Twitter. I'm always amused when people mm -hmm. say that. And it's almost always the people who are using trolls and bots that say that, <laughs> okay? So there's been trolls and bots for almost as long as Twitter has been around. Uh, and uh, were there actually Russian uh, troll farms? Yes, that's, there's no question there was. Anyone saying there wasn't is probably part of those farms, but not necessarily. There's dupes out there, and they're like, "Oh, I saw a whole bunch of people agreeing that Putin is a very sexy." My vote is for he. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and so, but that that's like just tip of the iceberg. There's now there's a, a great variety of trolls and bots. Uh, there's the fake left wing. There's the right wing who invented trolling in the first place, mm -hmm. right? Locally here in America, there's the alt right who is just 
who probably is the best in the business, to honestly, in the trolls. And then now my favorite uh, set of guys, and I've been tweeting about it for weeks, so I love that they intercepted this story, okay? Is the Democratic, corporate Democratic trolls and bots. Mm -hmm. They're the funniest because they're so obvious and they're so bad at it, right? The right, the alt right guys are do certain patterns, right? And you could tell they got sent over from 4chan or 8chan or 18chan or whatever they were doing these days, mm -hmm. right? And they all have similar talking points and they'll hit. And, and my, if you ever want to see where all the trolls and bots meet, Check out my Twitter feed, okay? <laughs> because I will get attacked by right wing, fake left wing, corporate democratic uh, uh, trolls and bots all at the same time. And, and you will notice patterns over and over again because they are given talking points to attack people with, right? So the right wing will attack me on these two things. Mm -hmm. The corporate Democrats will attack me on two completely different things, but it'll always be the same. Mm -hmm. Like Bobby and Susie will both agree from the corporate Democratic wing that ha ha, okay, in fact, I'll give you one, right? Mm -hmm. um, ha ha, you lost your election mm -hmm. is almost strictly corporate Democratic consultants, mm -hmm. okay? They're like, we have done the research on Uyghur, he lost an election. We will now use that as a talking point. Why should we listen to you? You lost your election. And every one of them will say the same thing. And then you click on their yeah. account, Oh my God, this person was animated about uh, primaries. And joined just last month <laughs> on Twitter. And sometimes I'll out them and then their tweet and their accounts will disappear magically. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I would say that based on the what you just described, we can now infer what Henry Quare's campaign thinks his big weaknesses are. He's very prepared. He has great proposals, lots of experience. They're very worried about that. They think that that is how they can fight off Cisneros. Cisneros is presenting herself as someone who actually cares and is gonna try to accomplish things. Henry Quare hasn't done a damn thing other than get mixed up in Eastern European financial crimes apparently. And so they have to pretend that now he has proposals. And of course he's experienced, she's not experienced. She's a total newcomer, you shouldn't trust her. It's like the most obvious predictable propaganda. Yeah, and so, and there are, the other reason why the corporate Democrat bots are hilarious is because there are no such real people, okay? So there is actual right wingers and they love having fun doing trolling, right? There are actual fake left wingers, they, and a lot of them don't even know they're fake. They're like, oh, the most progressive thing you can do is attack progressives mm -hmm. nonstop, right? And God, the most important issue was a totally nonsensical vote that wouldn't have made any difference several years ago. Mm -hmm. We should keep pounding away at that. So there are some people that are real there. Mm -hmm. And so when you add in the bots and the trolls on top, it has a certain authenticity. You could tell after a while it's the same talking points, and you could tell the difference between the bots and real people, because real people talk in a certain way that is authentic authentic as opposed to the bots that have the same kind of lingo over and over again, okay? Yeah. Uh, but the corporate Democrats, there are no such real people other than like Bob Cheska and Hal Sparks. <laughs> it's like a couple of guys who are always like, the Dem Democratic leadership knows what it's doing. You're supposed to lose on voting rights so you could win on voting rights 20 years from now. Oh, You progressives will never be satisfied, okay? Yeah. So, but other than two or three guys who are, by the way, usually, not always, but usually also paid by the Democratic Party, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but it, they, they do it on a bigger scale. With the bots, they are saying things that no human being would ever say. <laughs> like, what the Democrats have done is good enough. Yeah. Who would say I, that, who, right? Nope. Even if you're like a moderate Democrat, you'd be like, Hey guys, it was tough. You got to cut them a break. Maybe if you had four more senators, they could pass something. So there are real people who say that from time to time. Yeah. But like nobody says like, "Atta boy, Joe Biden, you passed plenty." <laughs> I don't have any more needs. <laughs> right? Nobody. Who needs stinking voting rights? They don't say that. <laughs> they know that's a bridge too far, right? <laughs> so it, and it's not just for Quayar guys. I mean, the Intercept got Quayar. You know, it's it good night, terrible. Irene. It's it's definitely bots. Okay, yeah. they don't say that. I'll say it. It's the most obvious bots. Ever. Not yeah. even good bots. Yeah, they're just hilariously. Uh, so, in terms of intercepts uh, reporting, my vote is for he. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but 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 they're all over the place. You go on Twitter, and if you criticize yeah. Democratic leadership or Joe Biden or Nancy Pelosi. Corporate Democratic trolls will show yeah. up, as they certainly do for me, because I'm a, I'm a marked 
<laughs> person on Twitter. Yeah. Like this guy's a pain in our ass. Make sure you go on his Twitter. I don't know, they must have a list, right? Mm -hmm. And so, I, in fact, we could do it live on the show. I could do a tweet against corporate Democrats and, and their bots will in. come up. Okay, we'll do that maybe yeah. in, a, in a bonus episode for the members because okay. it'll be fun. Yeah, I, I get it when I criticize Elon Musk. I don't know for sure that they're bots. I just really hope for their sake that they're bots. No, no, um, by, by the way, what there's uh, some fascinating thing here. For both the right wing and the fake left, mm -hmm. if you check their accounts of the bots, they all support Elon Musk and they all support some form of Bitcoin, okay? I so there is a, a deep connection there. I don't know what's going on and who's paying for it, right? <laughs> but that pattern is unmistakable. Yeah. Uh, we should also just clarify to, to close this out. Uh, the Intercept did reach out to the Quayer campaign, and they did not respond to this. Obviously, they're not going to. <laughs> I would love for Cisneros' campaign to respond. It hasn't happened. Oh, and is, if it's not clear, we, we like to admit our bias. Obviously, we like Jessica, Jessica Cisneros. Uh, I've endorsed Jessica Cisneros. I think that she's a great example, and my vote is for she. So, <laughs> okay, if that I mean, hasn't been clear, I want to make it even clearer. Okay. Uh, Jessica Cisneros for congress.com. We'll put the link down below if you're watching later on uh, YouTube or Facebook. Check the description box for links, including the link to the Intercept article, which is brilliant. Uh, and by the way, you could just uh, Google Jessica Cisneros and you'll get to the right place. And, uh, and she's fantastic. She's a just Democrat. She's a progressive. She's authentic. She doesn't take corporate PAC money. Uh, Quayar, by the way, on top of being one of the most corporate uh, and corrupt uh, Democrats in Congress also has the FBI investigation of, mm -hmm. I mean, he's so corrupt, he did it illegally. <laughs> like, that's crazy, right? I mean, like Dinesh D'Souza, like, <laughs> how do you get caught with this system? I mean, you could do legalized bribery till the cows come home. Yeah. But he's like, oh, some Azerbaijani guy wants some fun of money to be sure, right? So that's what he's <laughs> under FBI investigation for. And on top of that, he's anti choice. Yeah. It's in crazy. Texas, it's in crazy. Texas, where they have vigilantes hunting people who are having abortions, Quayar is on the right wing side of that. So get them the hell out of Congress. Yeah. That's not our bias. That's our perspective, and it's uh, and he has earned that kind of scorn. And my vote is also for she. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.